Hey everybody, here we are again. Uh, I was in the homebrew shop a few weeks back and I found a new beer kit. Woodford's Buer Gold. A relatively new beer. So, same price as the usual Woodford's kits. Um, £21.99. So I thought I'd give it a whirl. And I was quite surprised, to be honest, to find what there was in the pack. So here we go. This is the no, that's the pack. Now they started doing this. I wasn't really entirely sure why to be honest. Uh, but supplying two packets of yeast. And then the guy in the homebrew shop said, well if you wanted to, you could brew it as two twenty pint it comes with two cans of malt so if you wanted to split it it's designed for a 40 pound kit but if you wanted to split it you could do two 20 pound kits so you've got a sachet of yeast for each so there you go you've got two sachets of yeast two cans of malt then to one side that would normally be it but You've also got um, a Cascade hot pellets of 10, 10 grams and an Amarillo hot pellets of 10 grams for dry hopping just after it's finished fermenting. So I gave it a whirl and then I thought I'm going to review that because it's quite nice. So we have here, in good old Blue Peter fashion, as if by magic, what I prepared earlier. As you can see, it's very pale. I'm just getting the torch on that. Clear, gentle carbonation in it because it's only come off the barrel. But, we'll give it a you can get, there's a, a hint, a hint of grapefruit and citrus type aroma. And um, it often works better if you snort it. <coughs> uh, right, so we'll, uh, we'll dive in so you can see it's a nice golden colour. It has a gentle bittering and a subtle grapefruit flavour. Now this is actually the second time I've brewed it. It's actually the third kit because I did the video and I've lost the footage. I don't know how. So I, I originally did the video of what came in the kit and then did, I was going to do a taste test and then I thought well I can't find the video of what's in the kit so there's no point in doing the taste test so anyway I've done some footage of the dry hopping so that'll be after this because uh, I just thought I'd do the, the taste test first. Not much in the way of a hop flavour, but there is that, I mean I don't normally like a citrusy beer. This is only gently citrusy. To me that is just, just nice, that's, that's nice and refreshing, not over the top banging your face with the citrus. It's got a nice gentle grapefruit. That just there's a slight pininess to it as well so very very nice actually very 
nice and drinkable. It comes out at, I think it's 4.2%. Sorry, 4.3%. It's a Norfolk Ale. Uh, a classic sweet and malty aromatic. A classic sweet and malty aromatic golden ale brewed using carefully selected pale and lightly roasted malts combined with American aroma hops to tantalise the palate. And not too many of the hops, that's, that's the main thing. It's alright having the American hops, but if you whack it full of them, for me it's not a nice beer. If it smacks you in the face like you've just eaten a grapefruit, not good. That though, very drinkable. It has that, I'd say, midway grapefruit flavour. It moves on to a pine, slight pininess, and then to a mild, malty back end, I'd say. But, mm, very nice. So, Woodford's Gear of Gold, I'd highly recommend it. Right, if you like the video, please thumb it up. Subscribe to the channel for future videos. And I'll see you next time. Cheers. Bye. I thought I'd show the dry hopping stage because I've not shown this before. Got a hop trap which is just basically a mesh tube. The beer's been in the fermenter for six days, so it's finished fermenting. So you just take the hot packets, Amarillo, 10 grams. The, the Hops come as hot pellets rather than leaf, leaf hops. Uh, another 10 grams of Cascade. So I had to dry hop it in the barrel itself, which was a bit of a pain because the top takeoff barrels and it kept messing with the takeoff pipe. This is the way you're supposed to do it after it's fermented. There are a few bubbles still coming up, but that'll just be gas coming out. So you just stick it in, let it sink to the bottom. It's probably going to fall over, don't really care. Sit the lid back on. That's it, leave it for three or four days and then barrel it. Take the hot trap out when you barrel it and uh, job's good. Right, we'll be on for the taste test next. <laughs>